how long will the GNU last? How, in other words, how long will the government of national confusion last? How, in other words, again, how long will the government of national corruption last? Well, that's another way of asking the same question, right? I know you are very interested to, to answer look, to, to that as well. So let's pursue this because it's very interesting. Now, there was an article that, sorry guys, there's an article that was written by a Daily Maverick, Political Reflection, right? So in that article, they asked the question, how long will this thing last? This article was written by Tim Cohen. Tom, yeah, it's Tim Cohen. On the 7th of July, 2024. It says, overall, given the unusual situation, if both sides went, look, wants the partnership to last, they are to give to the, look, they are to give three cardinal rules. How long will it last? Well, it's, it remains to be seen as to how long is it going to be, look, look, will it ever last? In this article by Italy Mavrik, they says, how do you think the government of national unity, GNU, will last? Is it a great question with no reader answer? A political uh, politician spoke to, look, spoke to by an, an underrated and a crucial point. Every, look, anything flows from the top. So much about the GNU depends on the personal relationship between President Ramaphosa and DA leader John Stanley Hayes. And if they, get, if they get on and more or less trust each other, there is some chance of the success. If they don't, there is none. Now, here's an, here's an interesting thing about everything here. I don't know if you noticed that uh, the newspaper seems to be telling us that the relationship in look, the look, they seems to be telling us that this is not a government of national unity, but rather this is a coalition between TA and ANC because they are saying here by Daily Maverick, they are saying the relate the success of this depends on the relationship between Ramaphosa and the TA, the TA leader John Stan Hazen. So the question is then is this a government of national unity or it's a coalition between DA and the ANC? Because then this new newspaper seems to be telling us something else, right? They say, so what will, what will their relationship be like? Remember, they are talking about two people. Then they say, uh, Hosa, what a complicated question. Who knows, the, the, the local, who knows what happens in the minds and the private words of polit political leaders and in the back room, look in the back room power of power. I can't say I know they are, look, I know either leader very well. For what I follow is what I might be called impure, spec look, impure speculation, but it is crucial. So it worth at least a tracing of outline. So we're going to be talking about that in this article. But what I've just realized is that. They are saying to us, the relationship is between ANC and DA. That's a whole thing of coalition of some sort. Wait a minute. I also have this interesting things. Guys, I'm on the journey to 60,000 subscribers. So why don't you do this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay they say here is an incomplete list of advantages and disadvantages as we know them now okay let's look at what italy maverick has got to say so they said number one 
This is President Ramaphosa's swing song. He can't stand against. Uh, he can't stand against as a president. So for his legacy, it's all about what can be achieved in his next in this in next five years. That ought to provide some basic for trying hard to get along. Does the DA get? Does the DA care about? Black people in this country. That's the first question that we need to hear, ask, uh, ask. Does DA care about black people in this country? First question. But let's go to the second point, right? Importantly for both leaders, their uh, con constituency don't overlap. The consequence is what is, is that when making the decision of governing, neither side will be vying for support from the same constituency leading to one upmanship local decision might be hard but in the interest of a very wide across uh, section of South Africa however there is also a negative side of this later again if you listen to point number two they are speaking about DA and ANC the question is is this coalition really about is this a government of national unity or is it a government of this a coalition? Now you see, you see it for what it is. They are saying the success of everything depends on these two political parties, depend on Ramaphosa and John Stein Hayes. And the question that you should keep asking is, is this a government of national unity or is a government is a coalition between DA and ANC? Nah, that's a question. But let's move to point number three. Point number three says Ramaphosa is um, is good at this. He comfortably seeking and finding common grounds, interacting with people with whom he probably doesn't agree, and taking things through what look what we don't know. How uh, look how he how is how good Stan Hazen is at this. He made this name by being kind of political polit local in parliamentary uh, fire tracker. We, with quick comebacks and sharp jabs, he will need to find a new modus operandi with more um, finance and the consideration and quick, you know, quickly. Um, this is something that I said, but the point number three, they say Ramaphosa is very good in finding common ground with people he doesn't agree with. Oh, so I asked myself, so he didn't agree with uh, uh, look, uh, uh, he didn't agree with uh, this guy, ne? Um, uh, uh, Ace, where is Ace today? So when they say that uh, he, didn't ac he doesn't agree with Zuma, where is Zuma today? What happened to Zuma, right? So I'm saying some of these questions, guys, really doesn't make sense. He, he, he seeks to find common grounds to people he likes but disagree with, not the other way around. Don't paint a different picture. That's why I said you must be careful of these newspapers. When they write, sometimes they speak things that you just like, ah, come on, guys. Um, they say, number four, uh, to some extent, the GNU is a, a forced marriage. Well, we all agree. It's not to, not to some extent. It is a forced marriage. We all agree to that. Um, <laughs> but the advantage is that the, the circumstances that created the forced marriage endure. The DA has a single Trump card Pulling out the G look, pulling out of the GNU, a card it can only play once. But equally, the consequences for the ANC should should the DA exit the the, the pretty extreme. So as long as both sides can maintain perspective and recognize the country's best interests over their own, the GNU should last the full term. Well, I like the fact that they are also highlighting the fact that. Anybody, uh, ANC can pull out, and if DA pull out, then automatically look, they will work with the left wing, which is not what the DA wants. So it's already an advantage if the ANC wants to use it. It's already an advantage to them. Number five, there is one other positive. SA's previous GNU uh, look, added qu uh, quickly, ended quickly, but there was a big difference between that GNU and this one. F FW Declerc's relationship with then uh, President Nelson Mandela wasn't terrible, but for Declerc, the GNU was a step down from president to deputy, and uh, the joint look, uh, deputy president at, look at that. 
For Stenhazen, this is a big step up, both as a representative of the party and as an agriculture minister. In some sense, this is a moment of truth. Which truth, again? Okay. I'm just going to ask you that. It's a moment of truth, but which truth? Because there are a lot of truth, apparently, that we don't know of. So, you fear media, guys. I'm keep, I keep warning you. you. Must fear in media, guys. When they want to feed you the lies, who? Oh. Hey! On the negative side, I'll put it the following. One, negative. The ideological gap between the two parties yearns widely, especially on, uh, on social policy. Consider this a question. Will DI ministers be required to implement ANC policy? Are ANC ministers obliged to think about DA's policy before or they ignore it? Or they do they, they do they just ignore it from the start? On these questions, the leaders will be required to lead from the day to day and honestly given their records, neither of them do well do look neither of them do this very well. Neither Ramaphosa or Stony Hazen is what you might call a policy work but policy is what the government does we have seen an example already when leon uh, scrabbler Scrabler, scrabbler or whatever first decision as home affairs minister uh, was to extend temporal visa uh, occasion for foreign south african foreign nationals right this power was legislatively granted to the home affairs uh, minister but the assumption the assumption was that the person uh, winding this power will be implementing anc policy which is which is if we are being honest to reduce the number of foreign workers to ensure companies hire underqualified locals um in week or in week one and uh, in week one and already fractional difference approaches are emerging. Trust me, trust me, these are going to be, these are going to look, are going to be getting bigger. Right there, I think he, here they are making a very unquestionable fact. Just on number one, they are making a very unquestionable fact. And oh, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody said that at a time that uh, when, 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 when 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 ucr7 says look look cic right spoke about this people criticize him on open border but now that somebody else is implementing that nobody is questioning that uh huh and bam uh both parties have very powerful ex look that's a negative by the way both parties have very powerful executive committee that will be looking over the the, 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 the shoulders of their respective ministers at, look, all the time my guess is that stan hazen will have the the tougher job here maybe may, maybe uh, maybe uh, look many of namaposa's uh, cohorts are inside the cabinet but even Ramaphosa will be looking or Oluku will be looking over his shoulders some some of the time. Stan Hazen's biggest challenge is going to be I am willing to bear look to bet Helen Zille. Zille is in many is many things, but she is either um decile or quiet. She has a definite view on what should happen and will be all over Stan Hazen if if she thinks he is um, heading down, if she's heading down what she regard as the, the 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 wrong part, not that it is necessarily uh, comparable, but it look in a previous example it was the look the the ministers outside the core governing group who constantly en look, encouraging the look to click to leave the G N U back then. Okay, here. I think I don't have any questions to ask here. But let's look at point number three. It says that to return the consist the the, the, the constant consistent constituency question, the problem with serving different uh, constituency is that the ANC and the DA have a very they look a very uh, different criteria for what a constituency victory. For the DA's co constituency, 
I suspect a reduced government spending will be seen as plus. For the ANC constituency, it will be the opposite. The hard fact is that the difference constituency of the two groups might mean that they are not playing on each other's uh, turf, but it also means they will be pulling in different direction. Um, you know, this is a very interesting point that the DA is saving is saving the minority, and the ANC is saving the majority. The majority wants things done this way, and it's an opposite of what the, the, the interest of the minority, which is which raises a very interesting point here, and it begs the question. Ramaphosa had uh, look, uh, look, Ramaphosa had all the options, but he chose this one. So if this option is getting tougher, it is not the doing of everybody else, but except Ram look, Ramaphosa himself, he chose this one. So here he's gonna have to compromise black people in favor of white people. That's a fact. We are going there, right? I don't know, Geguti, it was bigger, but we are going there. Number four, the level of trust is poor and getting worse. And again, it's weak one. The first problem is that Ramaphosa failed to mention to the DA side that every deputy minister will be uh, paired with the ANC deputy minister. This was a sneaky material omission that doesn't board well from, the, uh, from a trust point of view. I like that. Eh? We'll come back to this one. For the GNU to work, the parties must work together, obviously, but this is two, two deputy ministers. The DA deputy, uh, deputy will essentially be a spare will, a spare will and will effectively never uh, deputize for the minister, which is normally the main job of the deputy minister. The first, like the first inter interaction uh, between the, the minister and the deputy that might have helped solidarity of the GNU and help each other trash out horny question or thorny question, sort of a thorny question before making action will be the last. Now, I like the first part that they said here that um, the ANC paired, Ramaphosa was very sneaky, that he paired the ANC deputy with the ADA deputy. So in other words, uh, we both know what is happening. Nobody is taking a, is taking us by surprise. Mm, that's a that's a that's an, a very interesting point there. However, the question is, how did we even get here? Were we supposed to be here, right? That's the first question. Um, there are many questions that you can ask concerning this point. But let's leave this one. Now that we are at the end of this, we now go to point number five. Point number five. It says that. The biggest uh, immediate issue of the local, uh, assumptiveness of the ANC, the ANC party has ruled for more than a generation. The notion that the majority of, of, of voters voted against the, the party hasn't hit home. This is particularly visible in the negotiations about the Gauteng legislature, where the, like the ANC got 35% of the vote, a shot had more than uh, the DA 27%, but refused to accept the DA's requirement that it should get four of the 10 cabinet seats. And uh, uh, listen, right there, um, let me pause you right there. I don't believe that the, the, the person is, in, is correct here. Because Panyazali Sufi and the ANC, they have, provide, they have proved that this is what the DA had initially wanted. Um, now, later on, they come back and they change and we're not going to willing, we're not gonna, they're, gonna, they're not going to do that to us. So, um, that's one. Number two, the DA cannot behave like when it is now pushed below and now it is pushed to its position now. Uh, it must be pro portrayed as uh, no. It's because the ANC has not re like, uh, realized the reality that they have. No, 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 no. no. DA behave like it's the one with the majority of percentage here. DA is a bully. DA is bullying people. I don't know who told them that they are better than others, but DA is bullying people, and we don't like that. And we must tell them, and we must tell it as it is that DA is busy bullying people, right? And that's the best thing that they do in this government of national corruption. The best thing that they ever do is just to keep bullying people, bullying people, bully them, bully them, bully them, and think that DA is the better party. DA, wait, what? That man got money in. Hey, cut out the DA team. Hey, 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 h
Guys, I think just me and for what happened in Gauteng, I'm very happy that DA were put in their place. Spot on. Panyazali Sufi.